Now, as we approach the fifth anniversary of the disappearance of Madeleine McCann, she is once again in the media spotlight. Police in the UK say Madeleine could still be alive and released a new age progression image of her, which shows what she'd look like today at the age of nine. Although elements of her disappearance will be re-examined, police in Portugal are not reopening the case. Well, the man leading the British investigation is Detective Chief Inspector Andy Redwood, and he joins us this morning. Thanks so much indeed for coming in, Good Detective morning. Chief Inspector. Um, we'll, we'll talk about the, that image a little bit later on. First of all, where are we at with regards uh, to dialogue with the Portu Portuguese authorities, and how happy are you with the response you've got from uh, the request that you've made? Okay, well I am meeting on a very regular basis, at least once a month, with a counterpart in Porto, northwest Portugal. Um, she leads a review team of officers who are committed and dedicated to working with us collaboratively um, to establish what has happened to Madeleine McCann. Will they reopen the case? Well, the situation at the moment is, is, is quite simple. We in the UK, in terms of our relationship with Portugal, operate two completely different legal systems. And we acknowledge and respect that. And indeed, in terms of how the Portuguese operate, is, is the judicial authority that actually makes the decision around any reopening. But you, you still have that hope, do you? And that's yes. what you're pushing for? Yes, absolutely, 100%. You know, the dialogue I have with my colleague in Portugal is very positive, and they do want to reopen in due course. We've heard mention of these 195 investigative opportunities. Yes. What does that mean? Does that mean leads, chances of finding Madeleine? Yes, well our responsibility, and we have a unique position, if you like, in terms of where we are at present. We are drawing together three key strands, never done before, UK, Portuguese and private investigator material, all into one place in our incident room at Belgravia. And it is through that process that we are identifying investigative opportunities in our careful, systematic draw through the material. And so those 195 have come from so that review of the history. So they're things that basically tie together, links yes. and... Yes, it's the okay. history of the case where we've obviously started in one part of the review, and that's where those 195 opportunities come from, across a broad range of issues. But it's just simply that we're unable to answer them mm. in the United Kingdom, which is where our really important dialogue with the Portuguese takes place. Do you believe she's still alive? Yes, I do. Why? I believe she's still alive because at the beginning of this case, a huge privilege for us at the Metropolitan Police to be part of this investigation, investigation review, is that we came to it with a completely open mind. We were untouched by anything that's gone before. And as part of that, two key elements of it is to go, one, Madeline is alive, and the other is, sadly, she's not. And in relation to her being alive, yes, there is a real possibility that she's alive. So what are the things that make you think that? Because I think we're all clinging to the hope, mm. aren't we? Well, yeah. It's kind of hard evidence, because mm. obviously there is still going to be hope as long as she's not found dead. Yes, I mean, you know, we have conducted a forensic analysis of the timeline, and there is clearly opportunity there for Madeleine McCann to have been removed from that apartment mm. alive. And it is our belief as experienced investigators on the evidence mm. that, um, that, you know, that, that that is a criminal act that has been you know, undertaken mm. by, by a stranger. And so from that, she's alive. And there are other cases around the world, as you know, yeah. where many years later people have been taken and been found alive. Very quickly, let's take another, another look at that picture that you guys have released, the age progression picture, and then what, what help this could possibly do to the investigation. It's a critically important stage for us. If you look at the image, you will see that it has great resemblance to a school photograph. This is the sort of image that every parent proudly presents on their, on their dining room, um, you, know, you know, dining room table. This image has been carefully prepared by a United Kingdom forensic specialist in human identification and, and art. Close collaboration with Mr and Mrs McCann, who agree that this is a close resemblance to their, to their daughter. And my appeal today to the public is clear. Look at the image carefully, please. If you okay. know where Madeleine McCann is, then please call us. Or if you know or have information about what has happened to her, again, please call us. Yeah, indeed, Thank and you. we'll just reiterate that now, because the number to call is 0800 096 1011, or you can call Crime Stoppers anonymously on 0800 555 111. We've got all these on our website as well, so you can look at the photo and look at the details yeah. there, and do get in touch if you know anything at all. Thank, Thank you. you very much. And good luck. Thank you.